Today on Two Crazy Keithers, we're going to talk about Rachel's favorite thing, coffee. coffee. And we will get this video brewing right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, Video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about Rachel's favorite thing. Coffee. Coffee. So more specifically, we're going to talk about fat coffees. Yeah. Or keto coffee. Or some people call it bulletproof coffee. Yeah, but that's a brand yes. actually. So yeah, I mean, and depending on the day and, and what I have ahead of me, I may have different things in my coffee, yep. right? Sometimes it's just black. Yes. Because you don't always need to make a keto coffee every single morning, right? Right, and that's something we want to talk about because people keep messaging us like, should I drink fat coffees? When should I drink it? Like, what should I put in it? So that's what we're going to go over today. We're going to go over like how we make ours, depending on whether we're at home or we're on the road. Yep. And we're also going to talk about like when you should drink it and when you shouldn't drink it. Because again, it's not mandatory to start every day with a keto coffee. Right. So let's start off with when you shouldn't be drinking fat coffees mm -hmm. and that would be if you're in the middle of a fast definitely because despite what people will say just because you're drinking your calories does not mean that it won't like take you out of your fasting That's I mean, right. when you're adding butter you're adding coconut oil you're adding mct powder it all interrupts your fasting that's right because you'll see I, I see all kinds of different people out there saying like well well if you keep it under 100 calories you're okay the bottom line is a calorie is a calorie is a calorie is a calorie and it is going to increase your in insulin even if it's just a little bit and that will take you out of a fast and i'm completely fine with whatever deal or meal plan that you have for yourself yep. so if you have said like hey um i don't count coffee as, as you know the beginning of my day when i'm fasting in my mind right you know i don't i don't count that against that's your plan that you made for yourself and that and we're cool with it that's right what i don't want you to do is lie to yourself trick yourself say to yourself well this doesn't count you know and and drink it and then derail your own progress so if you if you understand that it's going to break a fast and then you choose to just drink a coffee in the morning and you're fine with that that's way different than thinking that it's not going to have any effect at right. all. That's because it comes to down to like, avoid. why are you fasting too? But if you're looking at doing like a 16 or 18 hour fast and you're like, want to get all the full benefits of autophagy and having no spike in insulin or any of that kind of stuff, then yes, a fat coffee is going to break your fast. As a matter of fact, and I know this and it does, I happen to do it as well, adding even some like, keto type sweeteners like stevia can start like spiking my insulin even though I'm taking in zero calories because my brain thinks I'm getting something sweet so it starts elevating my insulin. Exactly, so we're not trying to be the keto police at right. all ever. Um, we just don't want you to get frustrated when you're like, man, this isn't working because right. all I've drank is coffee and I feel like I'm not getting the benefits of an intermittent fast. Well, that's why. Right. So yeah, so if you're if you want to do a super strict intermittent fast, if you're doing a prolonged fast, a 24, 36, 72 hour fast, fat coffees are definitely going to affect your fasting window. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now on the other side, one of the things, especially when you first get started, what a fat coffee is really good for is to get you like through your fast. So, you know, hey, you're brand new to intermittent fasting. Your last meal was at seven o'clock mm -hmm. last night. You had a high fat meal. You're used to having a breakfast in the morning. You want a little something. Having a smaller fat coffee will help you get to your full meal if you make it only fat. Yeah, exactly. If you are going from, you know, uh, a past of eating six, seven, eight times a day, and yes. you're trying to like make it so that you are only spiking your insulin five times a bit day, then three times a day, that a fat coffee is great for that. Yes. So, and that's where we're going to kind of focus right now, because that's what we started a fat coffee with. And sometimes 
you just want to have the fat coffee to kind of get your day going. Hey, yeah. I'm kind of hungry. I don't want a full meal. I want a little bit of fat. I want to give myself some increased energy. I want to give myself some satiation. And you might even want to be like kind of spiking your ketones a little bit. And that's something that the fat will help you do. And this is also because there's so many like deliciously flavored MCT powders. Ooh, that's black. Yuck. I we love, haven't made ours yet. I love black coffee. Um, there's so many great flavors out there. It's also a nice switch from drinking the the very high carb, high sugar Starbucks drinks, Dunkin' Donut drinks, the Frappuccino type tasting things that you're used to. And you're like, man, I don't want to drink all those carbs anymore, but I still want all of that flavor. But I want now my, my calories to be doing something for me. That's another reason for right. a fat coffee in the morning. Yep. So let's talk about how we make our fat coffees. And that's going to change based on whether we're at home and we have access to a blender or we're on the road. Because my Vitamix will tear up a boot. I could stick a boot in this coffee. I could put mozzarella sticks in my coffee if I wanted to. But if we're on the road, we're just gonna have one of those like stick blenders, the little hand battery operated ones, and they're not gonna have that the power to churn it up. It's kind of like um, when the, the kids were little and you were like doing the powdered drinks. If you try to do that in the car, I yeah, mean, you're just going to have work. chunks of floating things in That's there. Right. So when we're at home, my the base of my fat coffees is butter. Mm -hmm. I use pasture-raised butter or I use ghee and, you know, something like, you know, getting Kerrygold butter or some kind of pasture-raised butter like that. You notice I've the difference. I've really turned to ghee. I love ghee. The flavor is very rich. Yes. Now, the problem is, is... I can't really do it so much on the road. You can, but you kind of get like an oily film around the top and it doesn't get you that nice frothiness that you can get when you're using a blender. Yeah. The other thing that I will use at home is I will just use MCT oil. Mm -hmm. And you do have to be careful with MCT oil because it can affect your belly. So yeah, don't overdo it. Maybe like a teaspoon, especially if you're new to it, just start off with a little bit of it and work your way up. You're also going to get some hyper focus and energy going on in your brain. So if you overdo it, you're going to feel crazy. Yeah. Really is how I can explain it. Almost like almost like the shakes that you would get from coffee, but it's really just like you are clear, but yeah. you don't want to be like crazy acting. And there are a couple of different types of MCT oils out there. Um, I prefer the C8 one. So you're going to get a C8 one and then there's also going to be a blend of like C8, C6, C10s, those kind of things. I like the pure C8. It just gives you a little bit more mental clarity. The one thing I would say is make sure you're getting an MCT oil that is like sustainably farmed, preferably from coconuts. Like, you know, you can get it from palms, but try to get it from the coconuts. Yeah. And definitely um, measure it out. Yes. This isn't something to eye like a splash of milk. You want to make sure that you're getting the Yeah, because you are measuring milk. out fat. For example, a tablespoon of this is 130 calories, but it also does give you 14 grams of 100% C8. I mean, it comes out clear. like It looks like water. So you underestimate its power because you're like, is this even doing anything? And yeah. So when we make our fat coffees at home, that's pretty much what we're using. We're using the butter, the ghee, MCT oil. Sometimes coconut oil. Sometimes coconut oil. And once in a blue moon, heavy cream. Yes. And then sometimes I'll put a couple of drops of like liquid monk fruit or something like that in there, but not very often because I find the butter gives it a nice sweetness in itself. It's very rich tasting, especially if you use the better quality butter. Yeah. So now on the road is a different story. So on the road is where we get into our powdered products because we find with the powdered products, you can put it into like your Contigo mug and you can just kind of shake it or you can use one of these little stick blenders. Um, yeah, and carrying around a stick of butter is is a little weird. Yeah. yeah. Now, the stick blender will work on the butter, but I just don't like the consistency. Again, it doesn't get that nice milky frothiness. And I don't like having butter in my purse. Okay, so for me, what I like to use is uh, MCT powder. This is the Perfect Keto brand. Mm -hmm. And so I'm actually going to start making one right now. So this is just the I'm salted MCT coffee. powder. And I just do one scoop. And one scoop of this is going to be 70 calories. And it gives you uh, 10,000 milligrams of MCT oil powder. And I happen to really like this one. This one's really good. And the MC, the salted caramel is an the awesome salted flavor. salted caramel is freaking awesome. Now, Rachel, a lot of times because she's trying to get more collagen, will yeah. use collagen and then an MCT oil powder. Yes. So I will use a scoop of this. Whoops. 
just like dusted the And this is all I do off. while Rachel's kind of pouring that. And this kind of just blends it up really nice. And this is 70 calories. And then the plain MCT oil is 70 calories. And you're looking at zero net carbs on this. And you are looking at really less than a carb on this. On that one. Yeah. But it's worth the almost a carb for the salted caramel flavor, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, one of the reasons that Rachel will use that plain MCT oil powder as opposed to getting the salted caramel is because this one's going to add two carbs. That one's going to add a carb. And you... They're the same flavor. Yeah. You won't notice a whole different, huge difference the between the Reach two. Reach across you and borrow this. You got a lot of coffee in there. I hope it doesn't blend over the top. That's all right. I'm, That's I'm a, the one problem with these things. I'm a pro. And and I just say buy bigger mugs. How's it taste? It tastes really good. I'm just watching watch for it to come over the top there. I got it. You got it? I got this. But yeah, so it gives it a nice frothiness in there. Rachel's, you can actually see better. Ooh, but again, spinning. with the little stick blenders, you do have to kind of like only do like a half a mug, which is why we have these big giant mugs. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's a happy morning right there. Now, again, we're not adding a whole lot of calories. And it's one thing that you do need to be careful of when it comes to fat coffees is you can easily overdo it. Like a couple of tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon of heavy cream. And the next thing you know, you're at three, four, five hundred calories. And honestly, like especially the perfect keto, in my opinion, um, you add a scoop of that, it's like, it tastes like the cream and the sugar are in it. Yeah. So I don't have to add extra stuff. So some of them are like, oh, you don't have to add anything, but you do. Yeah. Because the flavor isn't that great. For the Perfect Keto ones, that's what I've noticed is that it's very tasty. It adds a very buttery taste to it and milky, almost like you're adding creamer and then the they are spot on with the sweetness. Yeah, and they use stevia. Now the other thing that I will occasionally add, not very often, is the um, base, which mm -hmm. is exogenous ketones. This is kind of rare for me. I mean, this container we've had for several months. Um, number one, it's expensive. It's yeah. like $60 for I think 15 servings in here, for 15 servings. Uh, but if I just need like a real boost of energy, let's say I'm gonna go take an exam or I just need a lot of mental clarity, I'll add some of that. But the one thing you do have to be a little careful with with exogenous ketones is it can affect your own personal ketone production because your body's gonna use that instead of making its own ketones. Yeah. So that's basically how we make our keto coffees, especially when we're on the road. Yeah. I love to put just a scoop of this and a scoop of this in my Contigo and then just head to Wawa. And for a dollar, get a really nice cup of coffee that shakes up really well. Yeah, because this stuff blends really well when you shake it. So a lot of times you don't even need the little stick blender if you're no. putting it in something where you can give it a good agitation. It, even like a- It turns um, to like, it's like dust. Yeah, even like a blender bottle. If you're not using the plastic one, if yeah. you're using a stainless steel one, it works great in a blender bottle as well. So one of the things we did want to say and the reason we kind of decided to do this video quickly today was because we got an email from Perfect Keto and they are doing a special Labor Day sale. Labor Day. Which is, today is Labor Day, by the way, Monday, September 2nd. And the sale runs from September 2nd to September 5th. And it's 20% off almost everything in their store. I'm going to leave a link for it down below. Uh -huh. uh, along with the coupon code, there's a special coupon code. I don't remember what it is. I'll put it across the bottom here. Um, but I'll leave it down below in the description as well. And the 20% is off of everything except for uh, the MCT oil soft gels. Okay. It doesn't include the unflavored collagen, but it does include the flavored collagens. That's better anyway. Uh, not, it doesn't work on the chocolate base. It doesn't work on the bars. And it doesn't work on their brand new chocolate candies, the chocolate snacks. Oh, okay. And but everything you would need to make everything a keto for coffee. keto coffee is included in that, and they're also doing twenty five percent off of a build your own bundle, so you can build like a bundle of at least three things and get twenty five percent off. And so I'll leave that down below too. If you click on a certain link for build your own bundle, you don't even need to have a coupon code or anything for that. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section how you like to make your fat coffees. And what flavors do you like? Are you a salted caramel person? Do you like chocolate? Do you like vanilla best? Like what do you like your coffee to taste like? Yeah, is there anything else that we're not adding to our coffee that you guys add to your coffee? Let us know down in the comments section. If you like what you saw today, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it until next time bye bye